वेलकम बैक टू एन सी आर टी क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चिल्ड्रन सो फॉर वे हैव स्टडी अबाउट वॉट हीटिंग एफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट मीन्स वॉट इज इन डीड एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव सोल्व फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स अपॉन इट नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ हीटिंग एफेक्ट मीन्स द यूजेस ऑफ अ हीटिंग एफेक्ट दो इट हैज कन्वर्टिंग मोस्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन टू हीट बट वी हैव सम एडवांटेजेस फ्रॉम दिस affect children that concept we are going to study under the practical applications of a heating effect so children the generation of a heat means the production of a heat in an conductor or in an electrical appliance is inevitable consequences it means that we can't avoid that because it is happening because in order to see an electronical component in working condition means it has to use the electrical energy and some amount of that energy is going to convert in the form of a heat so children this unavoidable heat that is generation of a heat can be utilized in working of a various electronical components those are called as a heating appliances we say children it means that you know most of the electrical energy electrical energy is gets converted into heat isn't it children means the useful energy is going to convert into heat here we are making use of this generation of a heat children means in working of a different electronical components for example as i said earlier that is in working of electric iron is it children electric iron means iron box then geyser oh then you can use in kettle is it children similarly you can take here toaster these all different electrical heating appliances consumes most of the electrical energy and only some amount of energy will dissipated means converted in the form of a heat children isn't it children so these all electrical appliances works on what effect children joule's law of effect these all electrical appliances works on joule's law of heating suppose in one mark you may get question name the principal or uh, how does the electric iron works means you have to write in a single word that it works on the principle of a joule's law of heating effect isn't it children it means that when an electrical energy is passed to an electrical circuit means most of the energy is going to utilized in working of that whereas some amount of energy is dissipated or converted in the form of a heat children so now we will see the application of this that is the heating effect under two oh, cases children one is electric bulb the second one is fuse how a heating effect is applied in working of an electric bulb we are studying and also with the help of a heating effect how fuse will works we are going to study okay children let us first discuss about electric bulb children heating effect is also used in working of an electric bulb children that is you know children when we look into the electric bulb it consists of a, a thin wire at the center and that is called what filament isn't it children and surrounding it it all made what with glass material we call it as a glass bulb okay how it works that is filament how it is going to work we are going to study children you know children generally when we supply electrical energy to the bulb electrical energy or electric current to the bulb it consumes most of the energy which we have supplied 
and only a small amount of uh, energy will be radiated in the form of a uh, light children it means that the uh, power supplied to the bulb uses most of the energy in becoming hot whereas a small amount will be radiated in the form of light children means most of the electrical energy is consumed by this filament children because it has to become hot then only it can emit the light means more amount of a power is used by the filament in an electrical bulb that's why children generally filament of an electric bulb is made with the strong metal such as tungsten children generally uh, tungsten is widely used in making a filament you know what is the reason because it have a high melting point around 3380 degree celsius means it have high melting point because we are saying that the filament is consuming most of the energy means it should not melt easily isn't it so it has to uh, what uh, have a high resistance towards the temperature so such a metal we have to use in order to make this means the strong metal like a tungsten is widely used and because it have a high melting point which is around 3380 degree celsius means at a normal temperature it won't melts easily children and moreover uh, generally the filament of an electric bulb is thermally insulated using the proper isolation words it is thermally insulated children and the inside an electric bulb it is filled with chemically inactive gases like nitrogen argon isn't it children such inactive gases are filled with in an electrical bulb children you know what is the reason behind using inactive gases because we have a strong metal here tungsten isn't it these if suppose if we used any other metals means they may react with the tungsten to avoid that we will use particularly what inactive gases like nitrogen and argon and by doing so even we can increase that is extend or prolong the life of prolong the life of filament children filament mean we can extend the life of a one filament of an electric bulb the main reason of a filling an electric bulb with inactive gases or to extend the life of the filament and one more is it should not react with should not react with tungsten children good children because of these two reasons especially an electric bulb is filled with inactive gases so here most of the energy is utilized by the filament in becoming hotness whereas only small amount of energy will be radiated in the form of a light means it produces light after becoming what hot isn't it children it means that it is less power efficient that's why children uh, the electrical bulbs which are made with uh, filament consumes more power in general we call it them as a less power efficient whereas the tube tube lights children it doesn't contains any filaments so it gives more power efficient we can say that 
is indeed children okay come back to the topic children an electric bulb which is made with the glass material inside it have a thin wire which is called a filament generally filament of an electric bulb is made with the strongest metal like a tungsten because it should not melt easily at a normal temperature because it have a high melting point around 3380 degree celsius and most of the electrical energy supplied to a bulb is utilized in becoming hotness of the filament whereas small amount of energy is radiated in the form of a light got it children and it is filled with chemically inactive gases now we will see how fuse will works we will study about electric fuse you know children what is mean by fuse a fuse is a safety device which protects the electrical circuits by stopping if any high voltage current passed through it means highly unduly current if it is flowing in an electrical circuit a fuse wire or a fuse starts melting there itself what is this meaning let us see children children generally an electric fuse is a safety device which protects the electronical components or electric circuits by stopping the flow of any unduly high currents so uh, let us imagine children if high current is flowing in an electrical wires means here in the homes we may have a fridge or tv or oven isn't it children suppose if this high current passes to the fridge means what happens it may become damage isn't it children it may become damage means it is going to become fail so suppose if we have used fuse in the electrical circuits means uh, we can protect the fridge children that is how i will explain that if high current is flowing in an electrical wires means the fuse wire starts melting here itself it won't allow the high current to pass for the next component by doing so we are protecting our electrical components children and generally this fuse is made by using a glass material and a fuse wire actually at the ends it have a metal lens or metal caps we say children at the center it have a fuse wire generally that fuse wire is made using a metal or alloy children like example we can use aluminum copper iron lead etc means these are the th uh, elements which we are using for making of a fuse wire and this fuse wire remember children always it is connected in series this is very uh, important children in one mark you may get how fuse is connected in an electrical components means you have to write that in series pattern see here that is side by side here our electronical components is there in the electrical circuits how we have connected side itself means in case of an electrical com circuits the fuse is connected in series pattern this is very important children and this fuse wire how that is a fuse how metal ends generally this fuse is enclosed in a cartridge children means it is encased in a cartridge which is made up of propylene or any other substances uh, having a metal ends children and moreover for the domestical purpose we will use different ratings children that is 1 ampere 2 ampere fuse 3 ampere fuse 5 amperes and 10 amperes fuse we will use for example if i say if an electric iron is operated at 1000 that is 1 kilowatts which is operated at 220 volts means we have to go for dividing 1000 divided by 220 which gives around 4.8 uh, 5 or 87 amperes means at that time we need to use 5 amperes fuse children 
means in order to protect this electrical iron we have to use how much children 5 ampere fuse is needed suppose if i say the electrical bulb generally 40 watts bulb it is isn't it children when it is working at a 220 volts means you may need there uh, 0.18 means which is around 1 amperes fuse is enough to protect the electrical bulb means depending upon the power consumption of a different electronical gadgets we have varieties of a fuses like 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 5 ampere 10 amperes etc suppose if i placed 1 ampere across the electric iron means what happens children its power consumption is more there but we have used only one ampere fuse so what happens it may not work so at that time specially we have to use what five amperes of a fuse got it children depending upon the power consumption we have a varieties of a fuses for domestic purposes okay once again we will recall all the fuse concept children in general a fuse is nothing but a it's a safety device which protects our electronic components how it will stop if any high voltage current is passed to the electrical wire children by doing so the fuse wire starts melting there itself means the circuit becomes now open isn't it children if it has melted means here the circuit is open we have learned that in the open circuit the current won't flows isn't it children always remember that in order to see the flow of a current the circuit should be closed condition isn't it children if it is open means there itself the high current is stopping so by doing so we can protect our electronic components and always it has connected in series and based upon the power consumption we have different fuses like 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 5 5 ampere 10 ampere etc when we take washing machines children it need around 3000 kilowatts of a power at the time uh, around 15 amperes so for fuse we have to use isn't it children washing machine or heater isn't it they all works on a high power consumption so at the time we have to go for using high uh, fuse ratings like 10 amperes you need to use got it children okay in today's class we learned about the application means uses of a heating effect and especially in a electrical bulb how it is going to convert we have studied and similarly in case of a fuse how joule's law of a heating will be applied we have studied